Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to solve for the missing side length when you have a pair of similar figures. So in this case, I have these two triangles. The problem states that these triangles are similar. So in this larger triangle, I know these two side lengths. In the smaller triangle, I know this side length, but this one is missing. So how can I determine what this side length needs to be? And first, we need to establish what it means for these two triangles to be similar figures. So if two triangles are similar, or two shapes are similar, that means their corresponding angles are all the same, like the measure, the number of degrees in each angle are the same. So if these two angles are match up between the two triangles, the measure of this angle is going to be the same as the measure of this angle. So the corresponding angles are the same, and then this one is a little trickier. The lengths of the corresponding sides all have the same ratio. So we'll have to dig into that one. That's the one that we're going to use to figure out the measure of the length of side X here. So the corresponding sides, the first thing I need to do is between these two triangles, I have to match up the sides. So I think it's helpful to do this with a highlighter. In this triangle, it looks like this one is the shortest side. So that needs to match up with the shortest side of this one. Then it looks like this side length that's a nine over on this larger triangle, that would be the medium size um, length of that triangle. So the medium size length the medium side length of this one is going to be orange over here, and that leaves the largest side, the longest side, I'll color in green, and that's going to match up with the longest side of this triangle in green. So now I know the 6 and the 4.8 go together, and the 9 and the unknown go together. So going back to this one, the ratio of the corresponding sides must be the same. They have the same ratio. So here's how I'm going to write my ratio for this one. There are a couple ways you can do it, but I'm going to write the ratios this way. I'm going to write my ratio as the, let's go, uh, the ratio of the short side to the medium side. That's my ratio that I'm going to write for each of these triangles. And so for the larger triangle, that ratio is six to nine. And for the smaller triangle, that ratio is short side to medium side. That is 4.8 to unknown. So these two ratios are the same. I need to figure out what this one is. <clears throat> and the method I'm going to use is I'm going to figure out what is the scale factor that takes me from this one to this one. I know that this triangle is smaller. So this blue side shrunk from six to 4.8. So the nine must shrink from nine down to something else. So it's gonna be less than nine, but it's gotta be more than 4.8. So I'm just kind of thinking through this one a little bit. And the way I'll do this is let's find a scale factor. In other words, what number am I multiplying these sides by to get these sides? So what am I multiplying by to get the new side lengths? <clears throat> so six times something equals 4.8. Well, what is that something? Let's work backwards. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. Instead of six times something is 4.8, I can do 4.8 divided by six equals that something, equals that something. So. I can use my calculator at this point. By the way, I also, just based on the numbers here, I know that six times eight is 48. So six times 0.8 or eight tenths should give me 4.8. But just to confirm, let's check. 4.8 divided by, oops, not multiply, divided by six equals 0.8, eight tenths. So I know now that my scale factor scale factor, sorry about the scratchy markers here, the scale factor must be 0.8. We're multiplying these side lengths by 0.8 to get the smaller new side lengths. 
So let's multiply this one by 0.82. 9 times 0.8 should tell me the new side length. And can we do this without a calculator? You can use a calculator if you want. But I know that 9 times 8 is 72. So 9 times 0.8 should be 7.2. So this new side length over here has shrunk from 9 down to 7.2. 7.2 is my answer. So I have solved for this missing side length knowing that the ratios of these sides needs to remain the same if these are a pair of similar triangles. The problem says they are, so I can use that ratio to solve. So hopefully that helps when you are dealing with similar figures.